Hello, and welcome to day two on your 21-day intuitive eating journey, immersion. I'm so excited that you're getting started here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about breath and guided meditation. Over the next three weeks, along with some maximum empowerment, work for the brain, we are also going to step into some breath work and some guided meditation. They are both very useful tools, simple and useful tools, to put us into our parasympathetic nervous system. Now, we talked yesterday about how food can put us into the parasympathetic nervous system. When we come up against stress, whether the stress is external from something that happens around us or to us, or whether the stress is internal, which happens with dieting or overexercise and restriction um, and negative self-talk, all of those things, uh, worry, right? All of those things are internal stressors that put us into that sympathetic nervous system, fight, flight, freeze, anxiousness, want to feel better, don't like the way it feels. So a lot of times we turn to food because it does put us into that parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest. Another thing that does it simply and effectively is breath. So um, on the days that you're not, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday, if you'd like to, taking some time to pause and breathe. So I'm going to talk to you about a few different ways of breathing, and you have two different options to do some breath practice during the week, a three minute one and a 10 minute one. You can try them both. You can choose whichever one you want. You can also practice breathing anytime you feel triggered, you feel anxious, you feel sad, anytime you want to try to bring yourself into a calmer state. Try some of these breaths. So the first breath I want to share with you is called the square breath. A square breath is called the square breath because it's kind of, it, it creates kind of a square. The inhale, you're going to inhale for a count of um, three to four. You pause at the top of the breath for three to four. You release three to four, exhale, and then you pause at the bottom for three to four. Utilize a number that works for you, right? This is designed to relax you. So it might look like inhaling through the nose, inhale, one, two, three, four, right? Hold and pause. One, two, three, four. Exhale as if you're blowing through a straw through your mouth. And then pause at the bottom. So let's just try one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Pause. Inhale. Hold, exhale, hold. That's a square breath. What breath does is it, it quiets the mind and it actually brings us from the, I'm going to sh share another one, which is really interesting research from the amygdala, the fight, flight, freeze, anxious state to the frontal cortex where I can think and I can actually make a rational decision. So we have the square breath, which works. Another breath that has been researched extensively about really connecting to the frontal cortex is the double inhale breath. So it's an inhale and then an inhale and then a long extended exhale. And what it does is it activates the diaphragm. So we're activating the diaphragm, which elicits the, um, the frontal cortex so we can think. So when you are feeling stressed, take the opportunity to practice breath. Pause and practice breath. I always say practicing breath when you're not anxious is a really great way of, of getting used to it and getting more comfortable with it. Thus, it's easier to call, call up when you're anxious. So it might be a great thing to utilize breath, this breath practice 
like link it to something that you do every day. It might be when your alarm goes off in the morning, you just lie in bed and breathe, or when you go to bed at night, or just before you eat a meal, you know, taking a minute to do four or five breaths. So we have the square breath, we have the double inhale, inhale breath. Um, we also have uh, something called the four, seven, eight breath. The four, seven, eight breath is, is very much like a square. You inhale for four counts, but you pause and hold at the top a little bit longer, and then you exhale, extended exhale, because that helps um, release the body's you know, ang like carbon dioxide, which kind of can be linked to anxiety. And then you inhale again for four. So it's a, a little bit of extended. So try these out, see what works for you. Um, and this will be utilized, breathing will be utilized for the whole three weeks. But what we are going to be doing is adding in next week, we'll be adding in a yoga nindra practice. Um, the mountain meditation will be week two, and then the inner sanctuary will be week three. The reason for connecting to some meditation is it slows you down and it calms you down. But the research around yoga nindra is, is phenomenal. It can decrease blood pressure, it lowers stress, so it again puts us into parasympathetic. It can decrease anxiety, depression, and it increases immunity, helps you sleep, stabilizes mood, um, and calms the mind. So there's so many great benefits. And it's just a sitting down, closing your eyes, and listening. And so it's a way to slowly lower. We are in a, such a stressful society that um, there's a lot of stress we can't control. So by finding some simple, quick, easy tools that we can bring ourselves into parasympathetic and start to, you know, even the playing field around stress, the better off we're going to be. So there's your breath practice. You'll be practicing breath this week. Uh, if you have any questions, bring it to our call on Thursday um, or if it's another day. So uh, have a great week and um, we'll see you tomorrow.